Despite the fact that state fairs now offer it alongside elephant's ears, many people remain wary of the flu shot. The U.S. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention estimates just 5 to 20 percent of Americans get the shot every year. There are many reasons why, but enduring myths are a major one. The most common? That you can get the flu from the flu shot, usually proven by a cousin who felt sick afterward or undying Facebook posts detailing the shot's dangers. Let's be entirely clear. You can't get the flu from the flu shot. Not from the traditional shot, not from the nasal spray version. While it's true that the flu shot is made from the flu virus itself, there's a very simple reason it can't infect you. In the shot, the virus has been inactivated. In other words, killed. A quick science lesson. The flu shot is very carefully tailored to each season. Strains of the influenza virus are cultivated in labs, often with eggs as the growth site, though there is an egg-free option. The virus infects a batch of unhatched chick embryos, then spreads throughout each egg. After a few days, the eggs are drained of the infected liquid that will become the base of the flu vaccine. But here's the crucial step, and the reason why the flu shot cannot give you the flu. Certain parts of the flu virus present in the flu-filled egg liquid are systematically destroyed using heat or a chemical process. Killing them off makes it impossible for the virus to replicate itself. In the case of the nasal spray, the virus is weakened to such a degree that it cannot infect someone who is not severely immunocompromised, like a chemo patient, for example, who should get the shot instead. The inactivated virus used in flu shots is entirely sterile, like a pet that's been fixed. Just like neutered Fido can't produce a progeny, an inactivated flu virus can't produce what it needs to give you the flu. What about that cousin who definitely got the flu from the shot? As with any medicine, the vaccine has side effects that can make you feel worn out for a bit. Soreness and swelling are the most common. These are nowhere near as bad as the actual flu. If someone really does get sick right after the shot, remember that the virus has an incubation period of one to four days, so that person was invariably infected before they got the needle. Armed with this knowledge, speak up if you hear myths about the flu shot this year. And if you haven't yet, get inoculated before the peak flu season hits in January or February. Maybe you'll even get a lollipop out of the deal. Yay!